Hi everyone. Let's consider the concept mathematical induction. Under mathematical induction, a preposition will be given. That means like this. P of n is equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus etc plus n equal to n n plus 1 by 2 for all n belongs to n. To prove this preposition to be true for all n belongs to n, let us follow some steps. As a first step, under mathematical induction, we have to assume n equal to 1 now. If we replace n by 1, that means one term will be there in the expansion. For example, now it is P of n, so n terms will be there in the expansion. 1, 2, 3, up to n. n number of terms will be there in the expansion. Now we are going to replace n by 1. That means only one term will be there in the expansion. That is first term itself. Then we have to prove that the result is true for n equal to 1. As a second step, we have to assume the result to be true for n equal to k. That means replacing every n by k. That is P of k. So k terms will be there in the expansion. And we'll assume that the given result is true. As a third step of mathematical induction, let us prove the result for n equal to k plus 1. Therefore, at the end, we have to get the conclusion that by the principle of mathematical induction, the given result is true for all n belongs to n. Yes. Let's conclude that there are three steps under mathematical induction. First one, put n equal to 1. Second one, assuming the result to be true for n equal to k. Third one, proving the result to be true for n equal to k plus 1. Finally, getting the conclusion. So, now let us consider solution to the problem p of n equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus etc plus n equal to n n plus 1 by 2 for all n belongs to n. Let's move on to the solution now. Put n equal to 1. If you put n equal to 1 in the given proposition that becomes p of 1. This indicates there will be only one term in the expansion. That is first term itself. So, LHS of the expression becomes 1 now. If we replace same n value in the RHS side, we will get RHS equal to replace n by 1. So, this becomes 1. 1 plus 1 by 2. 1. 1 plus 1 by 2. That is 2 by 2. That is equal to 1. Now, if you observe LHS value 1, RHS value also 1. So, LHS equal to RHS. Therefore, the result is true for n equal to 1. The result is true for n equal to 1. This is the first step of mathematical induction. Second step. Let us assume the result to be true for n equal to k. That means replacing n by k now. So we have to write assume the result to be true for n equal to k. Now the preposition converts to the form p of k that means k terms will be there in the expansion 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to k now so k terms will be there in the expansion plus k equal to if we replace n by k on the rhs we'll get k k plus 1 divided by 2 let us number this equation as equation 1. This is the second step of mathematical induction. Now as a third step we have to prove the result to be true for n equal to 
k plus 1. For that, let us use equation 1. In equation 1, we have k terms. That is p of k. Now, we have to prove the result to be true for n equal to k plus 1. Means we need one more term in this expression. So, if we add one term to this, we will get k plus 1 terms on the left hand side of the expression. So, as a third step, we have to add next term of this series. First term is 1, second term is 2, third term is 3, kth term is k. Similarly, next term will be k plus 1. So, we have to add k plus 1 to both sides of equation 1. If we add k plus 1 to both sides of equation 1, then equation 1 becomes p of k plus 1. This is because earlier we had k terms, so we wrote it as p of k. Now, one more term is added to this. So, k plus 1 terms are there. So, write it as p of k plus 1. That is 1 plus 2 plus etc plus k. These terms are there already. To this, let us add k plus 1. On the right hand side, k, k plus 1 by 2. It is there already. So, we have to add k plus 1 to that. If you observe, left hand side will be p of k plus 1 already. On the right hand side, k plus 1 is a common factor. So, you can take k plus 1 as the common factor outside. If you take k plus 1 outside, the remaining term will be k by 2 plus 1. Then, take 2 as the LCM and simplify. The expression will become now k plus 1, k plus 2 by 2. This is p of k plus 1. And this is the result which is needed to be proved for n equal to k plus 1. We can check this result. That is by replacing n by k plus 1 in the given expression. If we replace n by k plus 1, this term becomes k plus 1 which is there in the answer which we got. If we replace n by k plus 1 here, k plus 1 plus 1, k plus 2 by 2. So, we got the result k plus 1, k plus 2 by 2. That means the result is true for n equal to k plus 1. Therefore, by the principle of mathematical induction, the given result is true for all n belongs to n. Thank you.